All right, let's take a quick look at the Air Max 1 1986 Big Bubble. Welcome back to Kicks on Kicks, my channel where I review sneakers. I'm BJ Kicks, and today we're looking at this beauty, this re-release of the Nike Air Max 1 in the OG colorway, but with a slight tweak, a, a little bit of a difference. This time we're getting it in the OG form as Tinker designed it with this huge air bubble. <laughs> Normally you'd see like, you know, what, three air holes. This one's got like a second or a fourth, you know, this thing's huge. Uh, so these are brought to you by the homies in the description down below. Check them out. Uh, thanks for sending these over for review, by the way. So we're going to give you a quick overview of the shoe. I'm going to show you some B-roll while I talk about them. And, you know, I'll give you some legit checking indicators that you can look out for in case you're trying to buy these on the open market and you don't want to get scammed. Now, this, uh, like I said, is the Nike Air Max 1 1986 Big Bubble. Um, and it's just a classic shoe. It's a classic shoe with a twist. I'm, I'm not quite sure how I feel about the Big Bubble, if I'm honest with you, but this is Tinker's original design. This is what he wanted you guys to see when he was drawing this shoe. So, you know, for Air Max Day a little over a month ago, they let you see it. Uh, so right off the bat, you know, from the bottom up, looking at this outsole, I mean, it looks like a standard Nike Air Max one. There's not a whole lot that's different until you get to the midsole and you see this ridiculously huge air bubble. Um, moving on to the upper classic red and gray bits of suede and then you've got this white mesh on the toe box and sort of on the mid panel as well but that's the shoe um now the box the box is actually kind of special so so just looking at the box you got this really cool cutout right here with the swoosh uh you got this black and red sort of scribble etched design i like that a lot i think that looks really cool uh so there you go that's the box uh let's look at the size tag real quick nike air max 186 og colorway white university red got mine in a size nine because i wear a size nine now i guess we should talk about some legit checking indicators i mean from afar this looks like an Air Max one. Would anyone ever really know the difference? Usually not, but I, th I would say the differences are worth noting on this shoe. Uh, the guy Snide did a pretty detailed real versus fake on his channel. So I'll just link to that in the description of this one. But the most notable, I think on the medial side, you'll see the where like this toe pattern is cut out in the red suede, this little notch. On this shoe, it's like super wavy and it's honestly kind of far back on the shoe. On the retail shoe, this notch is a little bit slimmer and it kind of lines up with the little notches there on the midsole, if that makes any sense. So uh, as a matter of fact, let me turn this light down a little bit. So these notches right here, this is supposed to line up with that a little bit better. And honestly, other than that, there's not that there's not much else you're going to see from afar. Other people might talk about the swoosh placement and shaping. But honestly, man, nobody's going to see that you're wearing jeans or you're not. The other, only other thing is on like the inside, you got your size tag right here, like on the on the medial side of your ankle collar. And it's kind of high up on the replica. Uh, on the retail, it's a little bit further down, so you wouldn't be able to see it like from a top down view like you can here. But other than that, man, the shoe is the shoe. It's a classic. It looks good. It's comfortable. I tried it on. So, hey, do what you do. Uh, I guess so real quick, I'll just show you the insole Nike Air on a red insole, white text. Um, the other thing that I was looking at is actually this embroidery right here. You can kind of see that where the red under the white looks a little sloppy. But then I was looking at some other people's retail pairs and it's got the same issue going on. So what are you going to do? Uh, all in all, 
I really like this shoe. This is just a blast from the past. I feel like these were a sleeper, but I don't know. I haven't seen anybody wearing them out. I haven't heard much fanfare about them, but this is such a classic shoe. I'd be surprised if you can get them. I'm surprised if the resale price isn't crazy on them, but hey, them's the brakes. That's the shoe. We looked at the packaging. I gave you some legit checking pointers. Don't say I never gave you nothing. We'll talk in another review real soon. Peace.